Hello and welcome. It's just gone six o'clock. We are on Friday, the 10th of March. So we're logging in. Woo, we're not logging into online friendlies. Um, we are looking at Fantasy Foot Team 2, which is um, the latest promo to come out. Uh, to, this is the second week of it, so we are expecting the second team. We've already been dumped some um, hints about who's going to be involved, so we're expecting a Ruben Diaz. We're expecting a um, Eden Hazard, because obviously his form for Real Madrid recently has earned it. <laughs> Um, I've got some packs to open as well and some player picks to do. So, um, yeah, uh, I'll show you those, what we get from those as well after we've had a look through um, at the objectives and stuff. So, let's go straight to item releases, see if we've got them straight away here. And we can see who is in Team 2 of the latest promo. And obviously, we are also getting some more Fantasy Foot um, heroes. Uh, so they will come out at some point. This is having a good long think about this. I may have to give this a skip. It is... Yeah, that's being way too slow. Let's just go to objectives and milestones and whatnot. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Right, so events. We still do not have any events. Season progress, we are finished. We have about a week left on that, I think. Five days, 13 hours, there it says at the top. Um, new stuff for today... We have a Fantasy Foot Cup um, with various rewards all the way through. As you can see, staggered tier rewards. Winning 10 for a 1083 plus player pack. How many attempts do we get at this? Um, Fantasy Foot Cup. We get six a day for six days. Yes? Yes. Classic match. Regions or countries, four max could be interesting. No loans either. So, yeah, that might be a bit of a challenge, but the rewards are good there. Even if you play eight, you're going to get an 84 player and two 81s, and then if you get the whole thing, you get two 85s as well. Um, week six bronze, for those of you who haven't finished the season, is there winning games, playing a match, scoring with a midfielder and assisting with a midfielder. Uh, beyond that, there is nothing new in objectives. Do we have? We have a milestone. We have Fancy Foot um, Fourth, fourth? fourth of um, uh, Villarreal. And I have no idea where they are in the La Liga table, to be honest. Let's have a peek. Uh, where they stand. Espanol. No, not Espanol. Villarreal. He's got a variety of positions as well. Villarreal are sixth. They have 37 points. So they're just sandwiched between Real Betis and Rayo Vallecano. As a centre-back, yes, he works. As a right-back, he also works. As a CDM, he could also work. The dribbling isn't massive. And frankly, I'm surprised he's got the 80 there. Given the dribbling is the weighted stat. Below, he could do with a bit of a boost to the dribbling and the passing, to be honest. But other than that, not much of a striker, as the shooting column shows. But the pace is decent, the physicals are okay. Plus, any upgrades he gets for making appearances and doing that, all good with him. We get assist seven goals in squad battles on minimum semi-pro. You get two-player pack for that. Assist a goal with a cross from a player in Liga, La Liga during three separate squad battles semi-pro matches. Score five goals in semi-pro squad battles with at least three La Liga players in your starting lineup and win eight matches on semi-pro with at least three La Liga. So it's very easy to get. A relatively free 86 rated card there. A dynamic card at that it will increase based on real life situations. So, I think we saw, when I was scanning through, I'm sure that right-hand panel, where it just says foot 23 at the moment, I'm sure it showed me something. Ah, oh, there we go. So, Heroes Team 2. We have Jean-Pierre Papin, 91. We have um, o o Warren at 89 and Dina Natale at 89 as well. Obviously, they're the dynamic ones. I think they're the dynamic ones. And then, as we thought, oh, Diego Jota is there as well. So, quite a Portuguese Premier League theme going on and Eden Hazard of Real Madrid Lima's there that we knew about so that's other stuff so um, squad building challenges let's see what we've got 
Dada is there for a while. Nick Lima is there. We've got a Marcel Sabitzer. Now, this could be interesting because Man United are in good form at the moment, bar the Liverpool results. Um, obviously, they won last night or the night before. I can't remember. But Sabitzer are at 88. High, high work rates. Four star, four star. They're, the weakness is obviously heady accuracy and slide tackle. But beyond that, the dribbling is very reliable, very solid. Um, the passing too, the shooting is good. Bar penalties, all 85 above. Pace is good and the physical is good. It's a very solid, well-rounded card. Now, he's mostly made appearances off the bench this season. He hasn't started a huge amount of games from what I've seen. So, he will... Yeah, it's tricky. You would imagine, yes, the club would win one game in the next six plus one. You would imagine... I'm not... I can't guarantee... Well, obviously I can't guarantee anything. But I'd say that, yes, he would make three appearances. But I'd, I'd, I'd say I'm not sure about the goals assists part. And club have always defeated the next six games. It depends who they got and when this starts. But three more traits upon the outside of foot shot trait would be good. So he's Prem, he's 88, he's going to be, he's four segments, he's going to be expensive. So 82, 84 is the teaser ones to get you interested. And then 85, 86. I mean, if you've got a Premiership, if you're a Man United fan, yes, it's a good option. If you've got a Premier League team, then yes, also, it's a good option. He's a solid midfielder. Obviously, the fact he can play CDM. Uh, central attacking midfielder and a normal midfielder is good. The fact he's dynamic is also good. What's six days? So we haven't got an, um, the same period of time as we had with... Uh, who was the one we had over here? Not Ben Yedda, not Vega, not Bird, Al Jabir. We've got 76 days on him to see if he's going to upgrade or not. So it's a bit of a different kettle of fish when you've only got six days left to get him. But you've got some packs back from it as well. So there's the possibility of options there. Right. So Sabitzer is in. Um, these two came overnight, as in during, sorry, during today. So we've got Rashford, who, for the price, is ridiculous. 83, 84, 86, 87, 88. I know, it's it's just, it's, it's mad. He's an 88-rated card, who's just won the last player of the month, and got an 87. It just, it, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense why they're charging... Uh, let's put concept players on. So, uh, this 88 is World Cup Stories. So that's what we had last year, at the end of last year. That's the player of the month now. And this 87 is the player of the month for last year. So he's basically... Wait a minute. He's got a plus one on practically every stat. But... And a plus two for jumping and some stamina. and Actually, all the physicals are plus two. But the rest seem to be all plus ones. Oh, no, wait. Some of the passings are twos as well. But assume if you if you like Rashford enough and you wanted to do that 87, which has been there for ages, to then consider doing the 88 at that price is a little mad. It's a lot. It's 55 cards with an 88 squad, an 87 squad, an 86 squad, and then the 83 and the 84. It's just, just too much for him, given as what went before him. We also have the guy that I can't pronounce, um, Kavarat Sheila. I'm going with Kavarat Sheila, and that's that. Um, 90 rated cards obviously can be converted into a cam, which may be a solid option for him, considering most people will have left wing Di Maria from the World Cup. Two good traits. Lots of good stats. A little bomb heavy dribbling wise. The dribbling, the ball control is good. The agility is good. Balance and reactions aren't as good. So a maestro lends to the reaction side of the stats. Uh, physicals are okay, not outstanding. Um, but the thing is, he is only an 84 rated squad. 
which has got to be a tempting situation to be in. If you want somebody in that position, in that league, or if you're just a big fan of him, to be honest. Um, is he Georgian? Have I got the league? Have I got the thing wrong? No, there we go. For some reason I went low to high. So this was his future stars one, which is obviously, obviously a better card. I don't need to tell you that. But this one has got more stamina, more strength, more aggression. Physicals are five higher. Dribbling is five lower. The passing is lower. The shooting is lower. And the pace is lower. So for some reason, they boosted his physicals. And the rest is not as good. So, obviously, if you've got the 91, you're not going to do the 86. But if you want him, go for him. But most people will have La Liga left. La Liga? Um, Serie A left wingers. I think I've got... Yeah, I've got Di Maria. Oops. And I've got the lone one. So, yeah, Di Maria will be fine. I'm not going to be doing this 84 unless I get duplicates and run out of other options. So, other stuff. That looks like everything there is today. We haven't got a daily SPC. Um, have we got any icons added in? No, we don't. So let's have a quick peek. Before I go and open all of my um, the player picks I've got, let's go and have a look at some of the team, the the ones that have just been added in. So we've got Premiership, we've got Man City, we've got a Defender, we've got Special. It is, where is it? It's the 90 Ruben Diaz, Fantasy Foot. He's obviously got insane defending, really good dribbling stats, where it's needed directions, composure, he can pass. His physicals are really good, obviously his aggression, his strength is top tier. Pace is getting there. Quite happily you could catalyst or engine this and he would still be useful. And obviously he is a dynamic card. He will may well rise depending on Manchester City's performances. Um, which is a strong chance, you go as far as saying, of getting the majority of the, the benefits from the rises. Next one up is, that's his World Cup card, and uh, that's his Fancy Foot card. Four-star, four-star. He is another one of these inverted wingers where you're playing a right-footed winger on the left, but it hasn't harmed his career so far, so rock on with that. The thing I like most about this, really good composure. The only thing you need to really focus on here, the reactions, if you really are that concerned about it, and there are cards that can do that, Maestro being one, but there are other options. The shooting is all levelled off. The pace is decent. You don't wholly need to touch that. And obviously Real Madrid. Um, the issue with him, as like I say, is appearances. Is he going to appear? I'm not sure how much he's appeared this season so far. Let's go and have a quick peek at his Wikipedia page. And I'll have a look. So it is career statistics. This season, he has made three appearances in the league and three appearances in Europe. So, is he going to get three appearances in those six crucial games? He may well not. Are Real Madrid going to get avoid defeat in the next six games? Potentially. Three more traits on him is good. Will they win one in the next six games? Almost definitely. Will he get two goals assists in the next six games? That depends on the appearances. So you could be on for a winner, you could be on for a fairly non-static card, a fairly static-ish card there. But it's an it's another one. It's a 90 rated card. So can you complain that much? Not really, but the chances of it appearing rising that much are not huge. Now Diego Jota's come back from injury, uh, so will he appear potentially off the benches? Of various matches. Is he a good card? Yes. The composure is a little low, but it's still pretty high. 89 rated centre forward in the Premier League is going to be an expensive card. Let's see what, if any other going. Yeah. You're looking at. He's going for 1 million plus in the various different. Oh no, down to 700. Okay, it's still a high rated card. Actually, let's put a. We're going to put a cheeky bid in on one of these lower rated ones. Where was the one that had a starting price of 100,000? There we go. Why not? Let's bid 100,000. Why not? Um, what else do we have? We have B 
Benacur of AC Milan. That looks like a solid card. Obviously, he's got the special card already. There you go. It's this 88 rated fancy foot. Now, that's a nice card. Good defending, good physicals, good pace, nippy with that. Everything good there. Other highlights, Upamecano of Bayern Munich. Obviously, good chances for upgrades there. Matoma of Brighton, Emery Shan of Dortmund. And then you start to tail off into the 86s and 85s. Right, enough of this. Let's go and have a look at my player picks and the big packs at the end. Let's see what we've got, if anything. It's good there. We have 10 of these. I tried to do an 11th, but it didn't like it. So let's see what we can get out of these. That's tempting, but I'm going to have to go with Pedri. It's a good start, an 85 and an 87 in the first selection. That is not such a good start. We're going to go with the Arsenal for the Premier League element. What have we next? We'll go with Tammy. So, so far, the start was the big one. Um, we don't want the informed duplicate. So we go here. So I'm drinking at the same time. Let's go Angelino. Just want to see that coloured flare. I want to see that purple outline when it loads up. You nothing there. Sinestra. Sinistera, sorry. My bad. Ooh. He's not actually that bad a card. That's not that bad at all. But we are going to go with Humbles for the rating. What's up, what's up, what's up? We're going Kinsey Coleman. That was a good three selection. What's next? We go... Oh, wait a minute. I already picked an Angelino. We'll go with Guedes. So those are my 10-player picks. I was hoping for... Something better, but I'll take that. Avoided duplicates. Everything was 80 plus apart from Martinelli. And we've got some packs behind it, which I can open and hope something crops out. We've been talking for far too long in this video already. So let's see. So I've got the 84, uh, 5 times 84. So we'll do the other ones first and then come back round to that. End on the big one. Well, that's something. Is that a... Oh, a Jovic. He got a big old boost from his last card. That's a good selection. Is he? He's Fiorentina now. After his move to Real Madrid, didn't wholly work out. That's a pretty decent card. We'll use that. So we've got Issa, Issy and Fabio Vera. Are either of them tradable? They are not. I... Would love to. I think my favourite one of those, I would, for the Premiership link, Matoma or Diaz would be really good. Sabitzer is tempting me. Joshua is obviously a good option. Um, and Umpamankano is very likely to get the upgrades. So that would obviously be a good card to pack as well. But beyond that, it does look like Diaz and Hazard are the most expensive ones. The lower rated ones are going to be a relatively cheap. Benteke's got one, the 85 MLS Benteke. Who's this? Is that a... No, it's a Tavrai. That's not a bad pack, actually. For a mega pack, that's pretty good. Uh, all of these are untradeable, obviously. So, let's... What was that? A breakfast ball? Bizarre. Bizarre. Um, have we got a tradable John Stones? We do. Lovely. Nope. Nuri Sarin there as a manager. It's nice to see now that we can... all the Half the managers you get through are players, because of my age. I remember... Ooh! Walk out. Inform. Come on. I was the 84 guy again. Molina, another... No, oh dear. I think this is going to have to be a discard. Because I really want to get to that other pack. I can always quick sell recover it. 
so it's not the end of the world. Is it going to be? No. I can always quick as so I recover that. Respiratory goes down, and what have I got here? That there, uh, we'll keep that. Out of the foot fantasy heroes, Al Awaran has still got 99 pace and now up to 93 dribbling. He's going to be expensive. Akotra is going to be expensive. Di Natale is going to be expensive. That's going to be a mad selection, actually. Right, time for 584 pluses, and we'll end the video right there. Let's see what we're getting. Fingers crossed. That didn't let me click it. There we go. Let's see. We want blue purple flare. Please. Oh, we get orange. Who is this? Dabala. I can take an 89 Dabala all day long. That's a nice one. Now, that's pretty solid. Only one duplicate. And four really good red cards. This Dabala is a good looking card. Especially for a man of the match, you don't normally get cards I would consider using. I put a hunter on this. Now, reactions and composure, obviously, aren't they good? And no, he's not a Veghor style physical striker. But traits galore, finesse, flair outside of foot shot trait, is a little bit like a Griezmann card. He plays better than you would imagine. And convert him to a cam, convert him to a striker, he's going to be useful. Can I do anything with this? No. So let's leave catalog glue there. Right, let's go sort out some stuff. I'll go complete an SBC or something. Uh, there we go. On that, hope you get good guys. Uh, ugh, put my teeth in first. I hope you get good stuff from your packs back as well. If you've saved any packs for the teams today, other than that, I will wish you well and I will speak to you tomorrow. Um, yeah, all being well. Um, yeah, have a good evening, a good day, and enjoy the football tomorrow. Thank you. Uh, goodbye.